Figuring out who's Fortnite's best player has always been one of the game's hottest debates, with fans always rooting for their favorite pro. This discussion is easily compromised, and there is no definite best player. Battle Royales are all about RNG. You can turn it in your favor, but things won't always go your way. Top players like Mitro have mastered this skill, using every available resource at his disposal to turn things in his favor. As many of you know, Mitro is a Fortnite legend. He's placed top five in every single tournament he's taken part of. He's consistently hitting the goal when it comes to placement, sweeping the competition. We're gonna be assessing Mitro's gameplay in depth, showing you what makes him consistently victorious. So in a nutshell, Mitro possesses many abilities. He's not only smart, he's a really quick thinker and has the mechanical skill. Mitro's goal is always to win. This first clip is insane. Mitro popped off with nine kills in the Scallywag Duo Final. Really great rotations by Mitro while keeping his angles covered, and he even manages to snag a quick kill. You should practice these rotations in playgrounds if you want to survive late game scrims. Mitro pulls off an easy kill while maintaining keen awareness. Always look to get picks since people often panic late game with rotations, forgetting to go for kills. Be sure to look for these opportunities. Mitro uses passive awareness to sneak around his opponents and maintain stealth. He places himself directly under the bills. He knows with many enemies left, he will go unnoticed. Mitro pre-aims because he knows his enemy will have to edit out, a common trick used by a lot of pros. He then builds a wall piece when his enemy tries to retaliate, blocks his shot, and goes all in. He's now squared off in a 1v1. Mitro knows he's at a disadvantage with low ground and no shield. After missing a couple shots, Mitro turtles, deciding to go all in. He hears the sound of an RPG being pulled out and does the unthinkable. He knows if he's hit with it, it's game over. So he goes into the 10 ticker storm to dodge the rocket. What an insane 200 IQ play. He manages to finish the enemy off with a confident flick shot, securing the game. This next clip perfectly shows what pro players such as Mitro are capable of doing. Now, with Mongrel down, Mitro solo wipes the floor with two pro scrim players like it's nothing. Mitro locates players like a hawk and goes in for the kill. Watch Mitro's lightning fast reflexes as he blocks incoming damage with apex like senses. It's important to also note that throughout this fight, Mitro doesn't give his enemies the chance to take high ground. His reaction time was on point. Even if he hesitated for a second, his enemy could have taken high ground from him, and it would have been game over. He nails the enemy with a 125 headshot and looks to secure the kill. I want to point out a mistake Mitro did here. He underestimated the opponent. He didn't place his own protective cone and nearly dies to a trap kill. After he manages to dodge the trap, Mitro counters with what I like to call a shot replace. He times the wall and once it breaks, he takes a shot and then quickly replaces the wall to block incoming fire. Mitro notices the second enemy going for high ground and sets up a perfect dome shot. He places floors and cones exactly where the enemy is going to ramp up, blocking the enemy's builds. He then uses a variety of edits to get chip shots on his opponent. And when they go for a dive angle shot, Mitro gets the perfect angle flick, securing the kill. Mitro is in one of the final games at the Blackheart Solo Cup. He's on the low ground with 31 players left, but still manages to win the game. Let's check it out. Mitro looks for picks, but gets shot from above. Luckily, his reaction time is on point. Any later, he could have been killed. Always be fully aware and ready for anything. Fortnite is a very fast-paced game. Mitro is known for his intelligent plays like this one, where he decides to pick a landing spot where he won't be focused. He takes his chance and shoots down at HG. He knows giving HG late game isn't a good idea. He finds himself a kill and secures it. I want to point out two things here. First, he uses the wall on the left of him as line of sight. He also does the smart thing and targets HG. It's a really useful trick because your high ground opponent isn't expecting you to fight back. So when you hit them, they're stunned for a bit. Mitro then goes for a retake as his opponents are crashing down, a play that secured him the victory. Mitro is in his favorite spot. He uses HG to get as many kills as he can. 
With HG, you can just sit back and relax while everybody kills each other from below. Mitro goes for the safe play. He maintains pressure to keep the enemy at bay, not giving his opponent any chance to shoot back. He then finds an opportunity to deal a good amount of damage to his enemy before jumping back up, not allowing return fire. Mitro knows his enemy will edit out to follow the storm, so he jumps at him, winning the game. Sometimes, you gotta be willing to jump into the storm for a few seconds to secure a kill. Most people will stay with the storm until the very last moment. This last clip shows off Mitro's insane skills. I mean, he doesn't end up winning, but he pulls off 11 kills in a final scrim game. Now, that's impressive. This is where impulsiveness can cause you to make incorrect decisions. Mitro accidentally misuses a jump pad, which he could have used later on. Although he mistakenly placed it, the jump pad still ends up benefiting him. Let's take a look at launch pads done right. Rotating without burning mats or risking fights makes them awesome. I've seen pro players take ill-advised fights just to pick one up. Did you see that great proactive building by Mitro? He was able to completely shut down his opponent's push. And instead of editing down, Mitro spots another enemy pushing towards him and lasers him. Mitro is in his favorite spot again, the HG. He's not only a player that thrives at heights, he knows how to keep it too. Rifting enemies can be very dangerous, especially late game with all the action going on. An enemy can land right behind you and you won't even notice. The viable tip here is pre-aiming. He knows his enemy will come out from that side and Mitro is relying on him not being far enough to cover his angle. Mitro is able to fit in a nasty 70 damage pump shot, then finishes his enemy off with a rocket AR combo. Check out Mitro's keen awareness. Watch how he constantly looks up, making sure nobody lands on him. There's a very minute but viable detail here. Mitro sees his enemy pencil dive on him, so he blocks him right away. Then, as the storm is pushing in, the enemy mistakenly thinks Mitro is focused on rotation. That's when Mitro opens an edit and cleans him up. Mitro's free to rain havoc from above with his RPG. Now, to Mitro's surprise, an enemy pops up and goes for HG. Mitro counters with a quick cone above the enemy's floor. This is a tactic I want you guys to incorporate into your gameplay. Whenever the enemy floors you from above, place a cone on them. This will completely shut down their ability to shoot you. One skill I'm sure you guys haven't noticed yet is Mitro's shots. Aren't you curious on how he's consistently hitting these high damage pump shots from a close medium range? Well, Mitro ADSs a lot of his shots. That way, more pellets connect. You gotta be really fast, but it works great. This is where Mitro went wrong. He didn't pop his Porter Rift soon enough and paid the ultimate price. The enemy dived down straight away and possibly healed while Mitro was left to die from the storm. There you have it guys, sometimes waiting too long could cost you the game, so don't procrastinate. So a quick breakdown of this analysis. Mitro does numerous things in his gameplay that may seem minuscule at the time, but they are the ultimate reason he wins so many games. We're curious to see how he and Mongrel perform in the World Cup. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And once again, this is Keith Allen Henson. And if you wanna connect with me, I would love to hear from you on my Instagram and check out more videos coming out soon.